your opinion, what's a good balance between screen time and spending time off your phone? Such a good question because I'm finding that you have kind of a junk, a junk food all um, equivalent to a lot of different like aspects of our life experience. So we have that for food, of course. We have that for physical activity, which is sedentary behavior. We have that for um, sleep, where we're, you know, we have erratic sleep, we're sleeping, doing, we're have, getting poor sleep, and even sleeping in wee, wee hours in the night, not getting enough sleep. And we can kind of see how that might be helpful on the front end, or, or it's meeting some need in the beginning, but it does have effects later on. So it's like, what price are we willing to pay to meet whatever need we are looking to meet? And social, I would say screen time in general, I like that kind of classification of the exposure. Um, I think you wanna think about what is this doing for you at the end of the day? I like to have that principle be the focus. So to consider what it is that the screen time is contributing to you. If you're watching really informative documentaries where you're learning a lot of information, that's awesome. Um, and um, then if you're also on screen time and that time isn't useful to you in some way, that's something to also pay attention to. Um, but in general, I think being able to be off the screen is also very beneficial. Um, so, you know, I feel like, the, and there are recommendations um, at least from the Academy of like, Pediatrics, they have recommendations about screen time, which I believe is like one, at least one hour maximum, um, and maybe even one to two hours for older children, but at least for children, I think it's like one hour a day is what they recommend. Um, so I think that's a pretty good place to start. And as, or, as you're kind of thinking about that, I think it's important to really think about what is this going to do for me? How is this time that I'm spending useful? Because I had to ask that question to my own self because we're all using social media every day and we all have the same challenges. Um, that, you know, you're on there for 20 minutes, you're like, I'm coming off on 20 minutes, next thing it's an hour and a half, you're like, what in the world, how in the world, and everyone's laughing, everyone's nodding their head, because we experience it, experience that, and what it tells you, it's that it's not an issue with you, it's not like you don't have enough willpower, it's really an issue with how your brain works, and how information um, has supported the development of devices, um, and um, social media and how it operates. It's kind of the same thing with food. The fact that we have um, so much processed food that it's hard to stop eating. It's because it's designed in a way to actually promote that because it knows how we operate as humans and it actually can kind of take advantage of some of those human um, kind of principles that we operate on. And that's why. So it comes back to just doing that assessment for yourself. How is this valuable to me? And what is this screen time doing that's going to benefit me? And then when you think about that, I think you'll be able to make the right decision. And if you want a place to start, one hour per day is a good one, good, good time.